I'm looking for the right school. The school meets my needs. And you guys have quite the reputation. But I need to be certain. I've got some questions for you. Schools can be scary places. What do you do to help kids feel safe? Hi, I'm Mr. Running. Welcome to the Trojan family. One of the reasons why I love to teach in Gananoque is our staff is committed to putting kids first. Each and every day, every child that walks through our door is cared for in an unparalleled way. I've worked in many schools and the staff that we have assembled are second to none. Thank you for choosing Gananoque. Doug, lots of kids have been talking about this genius factory thing, but what's it going to do to help me prepare for life in high school? What is Genius Hour? Uh, it's a chance for students to explore the passions that they want to. It's an opportunity for them to be creative in the classroom. Imagine a student being able to come into a classroom and learn about whatever they wanted. They can research in their own way, whether they're a visual, an auditorial, or a tactile learner. So it's a chance for students to learn about what kind of learner they are and also learn about their passions. I think that's something that will make students want to come into the classroom. I think it's going to be something that the students are going to be excited to come home and talk to their parents about. Uh, how does it prepare you for high school life? I think it goes beyond high school life. I think it prepares you for life. The idea that you learn how to learn. So those skills are going to be transferable to anything, whether it's your grade 9 mathematics, your grade 12 biochemistry, or maybe it's just first day on a new job somewhere. Um, you learn about how you cope with obstacles and how you can overcome them. Yannicka, let's face it, we all learn differently. How are you going to help me? with my learning style. Hey there, that is a great question. So we all have different smarts or multiple intelligences. Simply put, different ways we learn best. At the beginning of the year, you will take a survey to find out what your smarts are. You might learn best through hands-on activities, by listening, by working independently, or maybe by working in small or large groups. Most of us are a combination of these. We also like to find out what your interests are. We want to get to know you and what you are all about. Together with knowing your strengths, what they are, and things that you might need a little extra help with, we can help you be a confident and successful learner. It also helps us in our planning of activities and units. My role at GISS is to work with you individually or in small groups and to provide extra help for you in the classroom. Your classroom teacher and I will help you stay on track. We will work hard to provide a learning environment for you that is engaging and, of course, fun. I look forward to seeing you in September and getting to know you better. Till then, take care. Mike, I love the rock and roll, but do I really have time to make music, do math and history and all that other important stuff? Oh, there you are. Look, you know what? That was a really awesome question, and I'm really excited to be sharing with you that our music program this year is evolving into a really, really cool format. Um, before I do that, I just wanted to answer your question. You said, do I have time to learn music and learn all those other subjects? And the answer is yes, 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 yes. You know, we have found out through research that music, learning music, there are fireworks that are going off in your brain when you're learning, when you're playing. It's like your, your, your brain's equivalent to a full body workout. How can you argue with that? So um, let me just tell you what's happening in the program this year. We have all kinds of great instruments. We have glockenspiels. We have xylophones. We have a class set of guitars, keyboards, drums, um, and um, music editing software. So we're, we're making music and it's really, really cool. But most of all and best of all, we have Peter Jazz Fingers Mitchell, and he and I will be uh, heading up the music program, and he's going to be teaching with me, and uh, we're going to be making some really, really cool music. So, you can 
put away your recorders. You can forget about your hot cross buns because we are going to make some music and I can't wait to get started. And besides, how can you possibly argue with the benefits of musical education when you see this? <laughs> Nick, you're the new guy. What's your story? Uh, hey everybody, uh, my name is Nick McCabe and I'm going to be teaching uh, mostly grade 7 this year. Um, so to answer the question, I guess, what's my story, because I'm the new guy. Um, in a classroom, I guess I, I live by the idea that uh, whoever's doing the talking is the one doing the learning. Um, so in my class, I just do a lot of projects, a lot of inquiry. Um, hopefully kids are just learning about what they want to learn about and driving their own uh, instruction. And if I can stand back and just sort of let the kids run the show in terms of what the content is, um, then I've had a good day and then I think we're, we're doing a good job in our classroom. That's basically it. Hope everyone had a good summer, and uh, I'll see you in the Peter, I've been hearing a lot about math in schools lately. What are your thoughts? What are we going to do in math? Well, we're going to investigate. We're going to calculate. We're going to estimate. We're going to communicate. We're going to reason. We're going to problem solve. We're going to justify. We're going to quantify. We're going to identify math in all kinds of areas of our lives where well, we use it every day in the school and outside of the school you know there's a lot of really specialized numbers and specialized ways that we use math and in, in other subject areas we use it in music we use it to make rhythms in music and to create harmony we use it in dance to count we use it in arts we use it in history um, for statistics and we can predict what's going to happen in the future from using math. There's lots of real specialized math in science and technology. Uh, we'll use science and math. Sometimes we'll do science and math and sometimes we'll do math and science. But we are going to, we are going to grow our brains and we are going to connect to the numbers all around us. That's what we're going to do in math. I like to stay in shape. Jeff, what can I expect to learn about keeping a healthy lifestyle? The Trojan life is not only dealing with activities, but also building a healthy mind and relationships. To, to this end, we invite community members and experts into our school to share their experiences and knowledge in these areas. We also branch out into our community to develop a healthy lifestyle through extracurricular opportunities like kayaking, canoeing, snowshoeing, hiking, and also more traditional opportunities through multiple school teams. We believe to build healthy relationships, students need to be exposed to different situations through class studies and discussions. All the staff in the intermediate department look forward to leading and living a healthy lifestyle through our activities, our discussions, and our experiences that we hope to have with you. Maddie, you're a fun guy, but I take my second mind to it seriously. So tell me, what's up with this French ink? Go. Got it? Come on. Just one sec, folks. Uh, okay, so we don't have a lot of time. First of all, best news, Mademoiselle Heron is with us as of this year. That's awesome. So we're getting new people, new ideas, shaking up, working together. Second most important thing, we're talking about two things actually, competence and confidence. Where do we get that? Competence you get from practicing fundamentals. Look at that. He's already back. Fundamentals and by uh, understanding the basics. Okay, so we're going to work on that. But all of that with the idea of getting toward finally the confidence to do what? To take risks. And that means, yes, ladies and gentlemen, speaking French. Only when you take chances, take risks, speak the language, can you then actually learn it. It's like shooting a hockey puck, right? You've got to do it every day to get better. It's not two plus two equals four. I remember it. I'll never forget it. We gotta do that every day. That's gonna be our focus this year. My parents are high maintenance. Where do you stand on communication home? Where do we stand on communication home? Here at the home of the Trojans, it's extremely important. We wanna make sure 
that parents in our community are well informed about everything that's going on here that involves their children. So we're committed to continuing to provide as much information in a variety of forms that serve the needs of our parent community, uh, whether it's through uh, social media, Facebook and Twitter, whether it's through our school website, uh, whether it's through picking up the phone or having those good old fashioned face to face conversations, those are very important. So we're also committed to when you call the school, uh, wherever possible that you're going to speak to a real person and not get a machine. Uh, we really encourage you to come in and meet with people face to face. Uh, all the teachers have teacher pages on our website where you can learn more about how to better contact them and have regular communications directly with your child's teacher. Those things are extremely important. What's also very important is that we hear from you. Your questions tell us what's important to you. What's important to you matters to us. That guides our work and how to better serve you, your needs, and of course, your children. Wait a second, you look familiar. Your parents are high maintenance. Was that a shot? Hey! Wow, that answers all my questions. That is a school for me. Thanks.